One of the best boys basketball coaches in Nebraska high school history going out on top tonight. Breaking news in the last half hour from Mike Sauter. Bellevue West Doug Woodard announcing his retirement tonight after 25 years and 693 wins. The final one coming this evening in Lincoln. Woodard's T-Birds taking on a Miller North team that's beat them in the finals the last two years. First quarter, Eldon Turner ahead to Robbie Garcia for two. T-Birds up 9-2 after an abysmal shooting first quarter for both teams. In the second, Mustangs with the answer. Skylin Williams with the three ball. He finished with 16 points. Miller North still down seven. Late in the first half, Josiah Dotzler draining it from distance. T-Birds up 24-11 at the break. Coach Woodard, though, once more from his team, he'd get it in the third. Steven Polacek for three. Bellevue West up by 17 at that point. Then later in the third, more from the T-Birds. It's Jaden Jackson ahead of the pack. He's going to throw down the dunk. T-Birds doubling up the Mustangs at that point, 44-22. And their fans just eating it up. Fourth quarter, the closer. Dotzler, the deuce and the damage. A game-high 16 points for the CU signee. Bellevue West becomes the first Class A team since 2012 Omaha Central to finish undefeated. T-Birds take the title in Woodard's final game, 64-41. You always want to go out a winner. Everyone does. And uh, for me to finish my career like this, you know, I couldn't ask for anything more, especially doing it with my family, my coaches and my, my brothers here. It's just remarkable. There's a competitive thing there that when it gets close and they just they dial it up another level. Congrats to the T-Birds and Coach Woodard. Class B final Platteview playing Scott Catholic first quarter. Connor Milliken gets the two and the tattoo. He finished with 20 points. Trojans led by as many as nine in the first half, and the Platteview peeps loving it. Second quarter, the Skyhawks respond. Jake Brack finds Brock Scholl for the slam. Scott up 32-29 at the break. Skyhawk students going bananas in the third. Platteview punching back. Trey Mosman from deep. He finished with 15. Trojans up five, heading to the fourth. In the final period, though, all scut. Jack Healy, the hoop and the harm. Skyhawks take a 45-44 lead. Later in the fourth, more from scut. It's Brack getting the bucket and the band-aid. Skyhawks up 48-46, and their fans starting to feel it. Less than a minute remaining, scut up three. J.J. Farron in his final high school game with the steal and the layup. He had a game-high 21, and for the fifth time in program history, Omaha scut Catholic winning the state championship 57-50. It's just a feeling I can't even describe, especially with uh, all us nine seniors who have been talking about it for a while, and it's just a crazy uh, feeling for all of us. Knowing that this is our last year for us nine seniors, how much we wanted it, just for like not just me, but for everyone, I like, knew just how to give it everything I could to try to come out on top this year. Meanwhile, Jim Weeks and Auburn in their fifth straight C1 title game, taking on defending champ Ashton Greenwood. Third quarter, the Blue Jays' Brooks Kissinger, two of his game-high 16 points, puts AG up a dozen. Their fans still locked in. Later in the third, the Bulldogs trying to answer Austin Levine with the bucket, but Auburn still down big. And still in the third quarter, it's Drake Zimmerman finding Cougar Consum as Ashland Greenwood allows the fewest points in a title game since the state moved to six classes back in 1984. Blue Jays go back to back 54-24. It's our senior year. It's our, it was our last high school game ever, and just it feels really good just to end it on a dub, but also a state championship. They're both awesome, but I'd say this one's probably a little more special because you know it's your senior year and you don't have any more chances after it. It's your last chance. 